guys, it's Dennis. So I am out here at the park, actually wanting to do a stabilization comparison test between the GoPro Hero 7 Black in the Karma Grip, and then also the Hero 7 Black with the Hyper Smooth Stabilization, and then also the, the GoPro Hero 7 Black with no stabilization on whatsoever. I'm gonna do some walking, I'll do some jogging and I'll try and do some sprints as well. My main reason for doing this comparison video was to see if it was even worth it to have the Karma Grip um, be, just because the Hero 7 Black has hyper smooth stabilization which um, I've done comparisons on before. I'll link it up here. It's, it's basically amazing. It's mind-blowing how good the hyper smooth stabilization is. Um, but that is just basically software doing it internally in the camera. Um, a lot of people say that the Hero 7 Black's hyper smooth stabilization is not going to be better than a handheld or mountable stabilizer uh, like the Karma Grip. So I'm basically going to test it out right now. We'll see how it works out. Let's walk. So that test was basically the GoPro Hero 7 and the GoPro Karma Grip stabilizer. So next setup is the GoPro Hero 7 Black in its frame with a hand grip. Hyper smooth stabilization is on. For the final test, Hero 7 Black in its frame on a hand grip. This time, hyper smooth stabilization will be deactivated. No stabilization whatsoever. So that was my very simplistic test of the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Tested in three, three ways. Basically, the Hero 7 Black in the GoPro Karma Grip, which actually deactivates any stabilization on the camera. So you're basically just relying on the stabilization of the stabilizer. In this case, the GoPro Karma Grip. And then also we tested it with just the Hero 7 Black with the hyper smooth stabilization um, and then also we did Hero 7 Black no stabilization activated whatsoever. I'm out of breath <laughs> but uh, we'll see how that turned out. Hey guys so after checking out the footage um, I can confidently say that having the GoPro Hero 7 Black with the Karma Grip uh, is totally worth it. I was assuming that with the hyper smooth stabilization in the GoPro Hero 7 Black that you wouldn't need a gimbal. I mean, that's kind of true. It kind of depends on what you want to do. Um, if you want to be a minimalist and just take your camera and a grip, then yeah, I mean, that'll, that'll suffice depending on what you're doing. But if you want cinematic, professional looking, buttery smooth footage, you're gonna need a gimbal. 
um, whether it be a Fayu Tech, a DJI, or even the Karma Grip, um, I would recommend that. But as we saw in the footage, um, obviously the no stabilization looked terrible. Um, the picture was great, but the, the shakiness was, was terrible. Um, Hypersmooth did a really good job. The Hero 7 Black does a really good job with electronic image stabilization in the camera itself already. So, I mean, I love the Hero 7 Black. I'm not gonna complain about that. But the reason for doing this comparison test was to see if having a camera grip was even worth it. And obviously, yes, it is. Um, the Hero 7 Black in the Karma Grip um, was so smooth. Just the walking, jogging, and the running, you could definitely see the difference between that and the Hero 7 Black Hyper Smooth. So I'm really pleased about that. Uh, it kind of shows me that, yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep the Karma Grip. Um, I'm super pumped. I'm really glad that the Karma Grip is still gonna provide me with that super smooth um, stabilization. Um, the only downfall is I just wish that the Hero 7 Black's hyper smooth stabilization would still be activated when hooked up to the Karma Grip. For some reason, GoPro has decided not to allow that. I don't know if they plan on changing that in the future. Hopefully in a future firmware update they allow that because that would be amazing. That would be really awesome to have the hyper smooth stabilization with the Karma Grip stabilization. That would be flawlessly smooth. Um, but anyways, if you guys liked what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.